What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Sean Robert Johnson. As you know, I'm incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trent, New Jersey. I appreciate y'all tuning in to today's episode that we got for y'all, so let's just get straight to it. Welcome back to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me. As you know, I'm unfortunately incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trenton, New Jersey, and I have been for over the last 17 years. So today is December 30th, 2023. It's a Saturday. We about to head into the new year coming soon. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. So you know everybody get your New Year's resolution ready. Starting off this new year and don't fall off. Because I know a lot of people make resolutions and after the first couple of weeks or the first month or so they fall off and don't really stick to it. So whatever your resolution is, man, go hard. Stick to it. Make sure you accomplish it. And... Hopefully next year, you know, you take another step up another level in your life to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. So I was sitting here just thinking the other day about when I was younger and I was in Jamesburg. And that's kind of equivalent to like the juvenile prison over here in New Jersey, quote, unquote. So I remember when I first went down there, I was at, actually at a boot camp first that was in Mays Land in New Jersey. First, you got to go to JRAC, and that's up here in Trenton. It's probably a couple of blocks away from this prison right here, and I'm at now. And you go there, it's like a little reception unit, and they classify you. So I was there for a couple of months because I actually wasn't going to go down there. I had like a little petty charge, a petty charge that they gave me two years for. So basically, you only do four months off of every year when you're a juvenile. And... I went down there, I was down there for a couple of months, and then I went to Jamesburg. And when I got down to Jamesburg, like I said, it's like the juvenile prison, quote unquote. And it's like, it's like a whole different experience because it's like they treat you as kids. And I was 18 at the time when I went down there because it was like an old juvenile charge. So they like kind of treat you as kids at the end of the day. So like you really don't feel the full effect of what it is to actually be in prison of any sort. So, like, you just jail and you just down there having fun. So, like, when you go through the gate, you have a whole bunch of cottages. You go to Cottage 6. That's, like, the uh, intake cottage right there. Go there for a couple of days before they put you in another cottage. So you might go to Cottage 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12, or Cottage 7. Cottage Cottage 7 is kind of like the honor unit type of cottage you get over there. So being that I had a good report coming from JRAC, the reception center, and I didn't get any trouble, they put me in Cottage 7. So you like you get a couple of extra centers of food and have like a little movie nights and they have their community room down there. But it's like almost like a college campus down there. And these cottages, like you just basically just walking around all day. But the thing is being younger, and this was back in 2005, like, being younger at that time, it's like a lot of people based it on where you was from. So, like, if you was up North Jersey from up that way, Newark, or anywhere toward that way in New Jersey, a lot of people with North Jersey stuck together. If you was in Central uh, Central Jersey, which is where I'm from, Asbury, Trenton, they stuck together. You got South Jersey, Atlantic City, Camden, all of them, a lot of them stick together. So it used to just be like a lot of wild times because there's a whole bunch of young kids down there and it's like you just get into a fight and then like you got like a whole brawl breaking out for the simple fact that you just stick into the people that was in your town. I remember it was this guy, this young kid down there, he was like maybe 15 to 16 and he was from Tennessee, but he was he was down here, he got caught up and he was in up down there. And he was like, he was kind of cool. And me and him became cool. And being that he was like a little bit heavier than a lot of other kids, they used to try to pick on him, bully him. So I, you know, I used to try to make sure he was all right. But I will tell you one thing, the dude was not no punk. I remember we got into a situation like he was ready to get it in with whoever. And somebody tried to steal his shirt and my shirt. So that led into him getting into a fight. And then we was in like the community room and one of the dudes that was from South Jersey actually just snuck me while we were sitting there. So like that turned into a whole fight where a lot of people that was from around my way at Asbury at that time and everybody just got into like a whole big brawl about it. 
But the thing is, when you down there, it's like you just go to lock up for a couple of hours, a day or two, or sometimes they don't even do it, and then you just go back to the unit, and then it just it is what it is. So you sit there. So what happens is once something happened to anybody from your town, like word travels to all the other colleges, like, yo, this happened to such and such over here. So it would be like, it'd be a wild experience. So you really don't like learn the prison experience. Like you just in a little environment, like kind of how it is growing up in the streets and it turns into that. So that was just like a little quick reminisce story of something that I probably don't know about. I appreciate y'all tuning in today's episode. Y'all always showing love and support by tuning in. So continue to do so. Continue to share the link. And we're going to continue to bring y'all the best content that we can. Have a blessed day.